What's up guys? How are you doing? Alright, well, we're to the flying video. So now we're outside in my backyard. Got the, uh, the old quadcopter. I went ahead and I mounted the, uh, the GoPro onto this little guy. Oh, we got dogs barking and birds going, so... Sorry about the audio. The audio is probably going to be kind of crummy because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try to use a mic and whatnot. I got, don't have a wireless mic and I haven't got my shotgun mic for the camera yet. So we're just going to use the one that's on board. So apologize if the audio isn't that great. We'll just have to deal with it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to put this together and how to calibrate it because there is some trim settings that you have to set on the board itself versus Oh, excuse me, versus the transmitter. You know how we set up the transmitter in the last video to uh, trim it out for the transmitter and stuff, but there's actually some trim that you can set on the actual board to keep this as stable as possible. So since we added this extra weight to the back end of it, it's going to make it try to do this, so we're going to have to calibrate that out as best as we can. I haven't done this yet. I've only calibrated it without a camera on it, so we'll just go through it. Uh, it's, I just kind of played with it a little bit ago. It's a little shaky, but I might be able to compensate for it uh, uh, while flying it but I'll just try to make it a little easier and show you how to uh, perform that step so let's go ahead and take a look I'm gonna set it on the ground and we'll go ahead and take a look at it okay guys first things first we need to power this thing up so I'm gonna go ahead and plug her in I don't know if you can hear that, but the, the uh, speed controllers will make actually um, some little noises. They kind of beep around, letting you know that they're all, they're all functioning and everything's working properly. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and power up here. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of throttle, kind of hover it around just a little bit, and see what, uh, what, it, what it actually is going to do, okay? So um, I expect that it's going to be a little heavy on the back end, so I'm going to guess it's going to come backwards, and I'll show you how to trim that out. So now I'm going to go ahead and arm the uh, quadcopter. So we should have it. All right, so now let's see what she'll do. Yeah, it looks like it's going to float to the right a little bit. So what we're going to do, let me reset it. Now, you won't be able to see this, so I'll just describe it. Right now I'm going to I'm going to disarm disarm the 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 guy. So we're gonna push it over, throttle down, and rudder left. Okay, we'll disarm it. So now it's not gonna do it. So now what I'm gonna do is to put it into the calibration mode, I'm gonna move the stick all the way, throttle all the way full up, and then since it was floating to the right. I'm going to push this stick over to the left. Now, when you look at the board, like I said, you won't be able to see this from the distance we're away, but when you look at the board, when I push over on this, you're going to see one of the LEDs blink. Now, one blink means basically one notch to the left on the trim setting. So if you just keep this held down, it'll give you multiple blinks, and what it's doing is it's actually saying, all right, I need to compensate to the left. Each blink is another, you would say, notch to the left for compensation. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give it maybe two because it looked like it floated pretty quick. So I'm gonna give it a couple of blinks here. So I'm gonna get down where I can see it. And I'm gonna give it a couple of blinks. Okay, it looks like that was a couple of them. So now I'm gonna push my throttle all the way down and then I'm going to push throttle to the right to arm it again. And then we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Still looks like it's wanting to, so I'm going to give it, I'm going to disarm again, okay, push it up, and I'm going to give it a couple more blinks to the left. I gave it three for good measure. So now we're going to arm it again, let's see what she does. a little better I'm actually messing with the stick so I flew it kind of out of the camera I think that's good enough for flight but uh, like I said you can sit and mess with it a little longer actually I'm not always gonna have a GoPro attached to it in fact I probably will attach the GoPro maybe more or less to the bottom of it but since I don't have long enough uh, arms to uh, make it stand up properly um, I'm probably not gonna do that just yet so let's go ahead and take this sucker off and see what we can do with it 
Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take this sucker off and fly with it and see what she does. So here we go, I'm gonna go ahead and arm the motors. All right, here we go, let's see what we can do. Well, anyway, guys, as you can see, it works really well, and actually, it's a little hard to control with the GoPro being on it. I need to set some more trim on it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the whole build. Hope you enjoyed flying it. I may do some more flying videos, especially if I get the uh, whole FPV goggles, and that way we can see from its perspective how it's actually going to do stuff and whatnot. It ought to be ought to be pretty fun. We'll continue doing this kind of stuff. Um, if you like the build, definitely thumbs up the video, thumbs up the rest of it. If you haven't seen the build of this guy, um, check out the, the videos that will be in the sequence. There will be a playlist for all these at the end um, that you can check out. I'll probably mark some videos at the end of this and some annotations for you guys to click on. So you can check out the actual build process since I built this by hand and all that jazz. So guys, like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Um, check me out on Twitter. I've been tweeting all kinds of photos and things of this guy as we've been building it in the build process as well as other funny stuff and whatnot that we can do check me out at zazzle zazzle.com slash mi sperry you get yourself some t-shirts help support the channel um, that way also at the end i've even got the bitcoin uh, qr code if you want to support the channel with bitcoins you can as well um, all that jazz. Check me out on uh, Instructables as well, because Instructables I post, in fact, I'll probably post this as an Instructable on how to build one of these. So check me out on Instructables, follow me there. Uh, Hackaday IO, you can check me out there too. I've got uh, projects there. This one will join the plethora of projects that I have. And guys, keep coding, keep building, and with that, that ought to do it. Thanks.